Welcome to lesson 88, finding the missing angle, and these will be two step equations. So while I'm modeling, look out for these things. How we recognize supplementary and complementary angle pairs, how I identify those adjacent angles, and I use that information to create an equation that represents a situation with the missing angle. And I'm going to use those EE skills to solve for the missing angle. In our first problem, we're going to try and find the measure of angle ABD. So where is ABD? We want to find this angle. So what information do we actually have? Well, I know that these two angles together make 180 degrees. So I'm going to write an equation for that. 3x plus 10 plus 2x make 180 degrees. Why? Because they are supplements. Now I can just combine like terms and solve for x. And this tells me that x is equal to 34. All right, so now that I know what X is equal to, does that mean that angle is equal to 34? No, not at all. It just tells me what the X is equal to. So now I'm going to substitute. Three X plus 10 and three times 34 plus 10. 3 times 34 is 102. I'm doing a lot of mental math. I just want to triple check. Yes, 102. Plus 10. So this angle is worth 112. This is the measure of angle ABD. I want to also just make sure that someone can see it in my work. So I'm going to highlight it so they can see my final answer. Hit pause and jot this down into your notes. Let's jump into our second problem. And again, we're looking for the measure of angle ABD. And in this example, we're recognizing these are supplements. They're supplementary, so I'm going to write our equation. 8x plus x plus 27 is equal to 180. I'm going to combine my like terms and solve for x. All right, let me give myself a little bit more space. X is equal to 17. Now I can go and I can substitute. Eight X. When X is equal to 17. And that gives me a value of 136. So the measure of angle ABD is 136 degrees. And I'll highlight it so that someone can see my work. Okay, Math Marbles, you're gonna to continue to do practice in this area. You're gonna get problems with supplements and complements and use that information to solve for the unknown. Please be careful and watch for what angle they're asking for. The great thing is that once you can figure out the variable, you can find either angle in a supplement or a complement. That's it for today, Math Marvels. You're doing fantastic. I will see you in the next lesson. Take care.